So Google just made Vibe coding completely free, which means you no longer have to pay for apps like Lovable, Cursor, or Replit. And honestly, with its integration with Nano Banana, VO 3.1, which are all Google native products, this app is absolutely incredible. And the fact that it's free is amazing. So in this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step step how you can build really cool apps. And on top of that, I'm gonna show you a few features that this particular app has that even Lovable and Cursor and Replit doesn't. And then I'm gonna also show you how you can connect this to your NADN to make even more powerful app with AI automations. All right, so without wasting too much of your time, let's jump right into the video. All right, so first of all, to access this Vibe Coding app by Google, you have to head over to Google AI Studio, and that's just aistudio.google.com. I'm gonna put the link in the description, so that way you can go ahead and just click on that, and it'll take you right here. Create an account, and once you do, again, this is free, so they give you, I think, up to 100 um, credits a day, which is a lot, which means that you can basically build whatever you want. So once you come here, uh, you're gonna come and click on Build, so if you click on build, this is gonna take you directly to this particular dashboard that says build your ideas with Gemini. So if you've used apps like Lovable, Cursor, or Replit, I mean, this looks pretty simple and pretty obvious, like familiar, you just have this dashboard where you can prompt and this will be your first initiation of building your app. On the left-hand side, again, you don't have to worry about anything there. Now, the great thing is on the bottom, as you can see right here, it says supercharge your apps with AI. Obviously, Nano Banana, which is Google's amazing AI image model. Uh, uh, you can animate images with VO, VO 3.1, I think it's the latest version. And you can also add things like conversational apps and then a bunch of other stuff that are all, again, Google products. So, but I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually show you how you can integrate these different apps. So the first thing, if you want to have your app basically use a Nano Banana, all you have to do is click on this, and as you can see on the top right here, this shows up. It says Nano Banana Powered App, right? Edit Images with Gemini 2.5 Flash Image, which is the official name for Nano Banana. And at the bottom, as you can see, this is the model. So if you click on the model, they give you multiple options. Obviously, it all it's all uh, Google's models, but Gemini 2.5 Pro is their latest model, which is uh, one of the best models out there in the market. So just uh, use that. Obviously, if you're in other platform, vibe coding platforms, then you will have the option to use other large language models like OpenAI and stuff. But for now, you know, like I said, the Gemini 2.5 Pro is plenty there. Uh, in system instructions, so you don't have to worry about this, but this just basically gives you the ability to add custom instructions for your projects if you want to control like the style, the models used and any kind of other specific knowledge. So the system instruction template, by default, it's gonna be React and, um, but you can select Angular. Again, if you're not familiar with coding, don't worry about that for now. So we're gonna go ahead and just cross that out, but that's just the model that it's going to use. So on the right-hand side, you can actually do speech to text here, but if you see this uh, button right here, it says, I'm feeling lucky. Obviously, if you're familiar with Google, this has always been on the Google main app itself. So if I uh, actually cross this out and I click on I'm feeling lucky, and I suggest trying this out because this is really cool. It gives you that uh, example built already. So if you just click on I'm feeling lucky, what this is gonna do is it's gonna automatically actually choose the different integrations. So as you can see, it shows the Nano Banana app and then also the Analyze Image um, integration, right? And then uh, it pre-populates or it fills the prompt uh, section here, build a time travel photo booth app that takes my photo and search my face into various historic scenes. I mean, that's a really cool app to build with. But anyways, if you just keep clicking on I'm feeling lucky, this is gonna, it's gonna keep changing the prompt and then also the different apps uh, that it will need to use in order to build that. So if I click on I'm feeling lucky again, as you can see now, this is gonna bring a on-demand merch mock-up and this uh, mock-ups um, where you can just upload your logo and AI places to virtual product shots, and this only uses Google's Nano Banana. If I click on it again, you will see it's just gonna keep changing things. So this one is uh, create an app where I can upload a script. So let me just cl click on this. Let me see this one. All right, there you go. I like this one actually. It says create an AI headshot photographer app. Uh, users upload a casual selfie, then they select a desired style like a corporate gray background, modern tech office, outdoor natural light, and the app generates a generic professional headshot, headshot based on style. So that's a really cool one, very simple one. As you can see, there's the Nano Banana powered app right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and build this thing. So I'm just gonna click on build, and what this is gonna do, this is gonna go ahead and start to build the app itself, just like, like I said, if you've used 
any other vibe coding apps like um, you know cursor or Applet or lovable then you'll be familiar that it's going to basically generate the code here and then the preview on the right hand side one cool uh, differentiation here is as it's building out on the left hand side here in the middle here this actually shows you a few other suggestions so for, for instance it says you can allow users to further customize their selected style by choosing colors, lighting intensity, and other static parameters for more personalized results. So this is just basically these ideas. And if you click on add to chat, this will just basically add that feature to your chat. So that's a cool kind of suggestion box that it provides as it's building your app itself. And if you click on next here, so this gives you also the ability to use your own API key. And then obviously if you, it, keep, it gives you other suggestions like give users the option to generate new variations blah 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 there you go so now it's going to complete the uh, preview so perfect there you go so this is kind of the front end of the app so let's go ahead and actually uh, try this out so i'm going to go ahead and click on uh, select a photo so i'm just going to add this photo of my there you go so i just added this uh, youtube thumbnail that i had created so i'm just going to go ahead and add that and then also uh, choose the style so this I'm gonna use Clax, uh, yeah, let's do Modern Tech Office, right? And then I'm gonna click on Generate Headshot, and now you can see on the right-hand side, this is generating the new headshot, and the way that it's doing it, again, is obviously it's going to use Google's own Nano Banana image model, and there you go, perfect, as you can see. So now I could even edit this, right? So let's try it again, let me do Outdoor Natural. And then once it generates, you can actually even edit it further. And then obviously on the left-hand side, on the box here, you can further, uh, you know, chat with this and use prompting to basically change any of the features that you want to change here. And perfect. There you go. That's really cool. Actually, if I zoom in a little bit, that's not bad at all. <laughs> all right, cool. So now you can, again, you can refine with a prompt, like you can add, you know, a retro filter or whatever, right? So that's, you know, one way of just building something completely simple. And on the left hand side, as you can see right here, like I said, I can add some styling. So I can just say, uh, change the background to blue or something like that, right? I'm gonna press enter, or oh, sorry. There you go, I'm gonna press that, and now it's going to just change the background there. And then another important uh, feature that this particular app has that other vibe coding apps that I at least don't see right now is this annotate app. So if I click on annotate app, as you can see right here on the bottom, this pulls up these you know um, different things that I can actually add and select and make changes to my own app just based on the, the preview here. So for instance, if I wanna select this, uh, let's see, let's take, let's take a look at this rectangle. So if I just select this right here, so this is a selection and now I can add this to chat and say, hey, uh, apply uh, changes to based on this screenshot, right? So now I can just say, hey, change the background of that particular area to something different, for instance, right? Or if you don't wanna do that, let me try annotate again. Oh, there you go, it changed the background to blue. So let me go ahead and get rid of this. So let's select that photo again. Okay, this time I'm gonna do classic studio, generate headshot. I mean, this blue background is horrible, but I just wanted to show you how you can make the changes there. Um, another thing is I'm gonna go ahead and there you go. Actually, that's really nice. Look at that. Perfect, I might use that. Um, okay, so yeah, uh, regarding the annotate, so if I click on annotate app again, like I mentioned before, if you use this rectangle, you can just kind of draw and take a screenshot so that way you can upload and make changes. You can also take this start sketching tool. So for example, if I say, hey, I want to change this area and you can even like point an arrow at it and um, you know, or maybe even select a different color if you want. Then you can just say add to chat. So now what it's gonna do, it's gonna take a screenshot of that particular area of whatever you have drawn and you can just add applied changes, whatever changes you wanna make to it, right? So that's a really cool feature there. And then uh, a few other things here. So if I click on add arrow, you can add arrow. Uh, add text, so for instance, if you wanna just add something text here, you can add a particular text in that 
uh, section of the screen there to make your your edits there yeah so those are kind of like the features for editing and then obviously it gives you the ability to deploy this app to google cloud right so if you put this and uh, deploy this to a google cloud project you can push this to github which means that uh you know if this is an mvp style app that you're using and later on you want to like check it out and make changes and if you want to use the code to make it production ready you can push this to github you can always download the app and then also save a copy to your google drive so um, obviously a lot of things you can do here but this is just a good way for you to test out your ideas so that's kind of like a very simple way to build an app so let me go ahead and get rid of this now if you want to build something more complex for instance if you want to build an app that connects uh, your front end you want to build the front end and then connect it to a back-end automation platform like n8n so let's go ahead and take a look at that so first of all again you're going to come back come right here so i'm going to go to actually grab my prompt so i'm going to go to my community here click on the vibe coder and let's see i'm going to click on lovable here go to the bottom so we're just going to go ahead and test out this ugc app that i built right so i'm just gonna take the ui here okay copy this and then i'm also going to go to the bottom so i can download the na10 blueprint this was just the ugc uh, ai ad or yeah the ugc ai ad workflow that i created so i'm going to go to na10 if you're not familiar with na10 it's a vibe coding platform i mean uh it's a ai automation no code platform uh, you can create a link uh, or create in a free account link in the description for this as well so i'm going to go ahead and click on import from file and bring over this automation so what this automation does is essentially creates ai ugc ads right so this is connected with the webhook so i'm just going to go ahead and use this webhook the same webhook right here so go back let me copy this first prompt right here okay and then go to google studio paste this so now what this is going to do is this is going to uh Yep, have the front end built. So this is just basically a prompt that just build a clean premium UGC ad builder site, right? You just have, I just have some instructions on the formatting and everything. Um, and then I'm also going to right away add actually the second step. So that way I don't have to do this twice. So the second step is sending the webhook and the user feedback to NA10 via the webhook. So I'm going to copy this, go back here, paste it. The only thing I'm going to change is this thing right here because I've said change the webhook to yours so as you can see right here when a user submits the photo description and email send that information to this webhook via attached image file i'm going to click on build so what this is going to do is it's going to build the entire app for me just based on that one prompt so the way this works is basically you upload a image uh, on the front end and that image is going to be sent to the back end here via the webhook and this is going to reach out to nano banana and google's vo3 to um, build that AI UGC ad and it's going to send that uh, ad or that video to our email here. So let's go ahead and let this thing build. So there you go, now it's building everything and perfect. Now you can see it has built this really nice front end here, create UGC ads that convert. It has this nice little uh, front end and then also this is where you can add, uh, create your ad by uploading a photo and then also a description and your email here so let's go ahead and do that okay so what i'm going to do is now upload an image so i'm going to go ahead and just upload the screenshot of this uh sunscreen and then have it generate a ad for me uh you know with the description that i would send it to my email so i'm going to go ahead and upload this okay and then i just said a 22 year old female model talks about the importance of using the sunscreen so i'm not going to worry about anything else i'm just going to put my email here say i have the right to use the image blah 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 click on and then if I go to hold on one second execute workflow so now this is going to be listening for this particular workflow uh, um, or this instruction that's going to be coming in from from it if I click on generate ad this should send that information there you go perfect right this is being now sent to the back end here via the webhook so if I click on webhook you can see this information or this particular image was sent via the front end there and this is going to go ahead and generate a new image with nano banana and it's going to reach out to vo3 to generate a new video for us okay so after that workflow went to complete uh, completed so this is what that ugc ad looks like if this sunscreen literally feels weightless no greasy mess plus i love how protected my skin feels seriously never skipping this step again Perfect, really cool, right? So that's what that's an example of a UGC ad that could be generated. Obviously, I've, I've done 
uh, this tutorial and I'm planning to do more on this later on, but it just gives you the uh, you know idea of how you can create additional apps here uh, uh, and front ends here and then add something like NA10 in the back end to create perfect automations. I've done multiple of these, by the way, inside my community, like with Lovable, uh, Firebase, Rocket, and other uh, platforms, and I'm gonna plan to do more. And obviously we have, if you're new to NA, then we have a beginner's course, intermediate course, and also we have a vibe coding course that you can check out. And if you wanna learn how to make money with AI, we have an entire course there that you can take advantage of. So feel free to check that out. And my NADN right now is hosted on the cloud platform. But if you're interested on self-hosting it on your own private server, check out uh, Hostinger's uh, Black Friday sale right now that they have going on for NADN in particular. So this is a virtual private service that you can check out. I mean, right now, like I said, this is the best, the best deal if you want to take advantage of. I would suggest using the KVM2 plan. So you click on choose plan here. What this is going to do is it's going to take you to the next page where now you have the ability to choose the period, so 24 months or 12 months. If you're using NADN for long term, I obviously I highly recommend using the 24 month because that will obviously give you the best deal there. Everything else you leave the same, same thing. The application makes sure that you have selected NADN here. And then on the right hand side, you can also click on have a coupon because Hostinger is our main channel sponsor. And if you just type AI workshop, click on apply, this is gonna give you a further 10% discount, which brings your price to like $140 for 24 months, which again is $5.80, so that's ridiculous. Uh, so take advantage of that. And uh, after you uh, apply the coupon, you're gonna click on continue. This is gonna take you a page where you can go ahead and register. If it's the first time, I'm just gonna go ahead and log in. All right, so once you log into your account, you're gonna go ahead and add your billing address and the payment information, and you're gonna click on install. It's gonna take a couple of minutes and it's gonna bring you to your dashboard. All right, so once you're here, after you install, it's gonna bring you to right here, and all you have to do is click on manage here, and this is gonna open up your main dashboard here. Yours is gonna look blank, but all you have to do is click on manage app here, and this is gonna open up your own NADN on your own virtual private server. Obviously, if this is your first time, it's gonna make you uh, sign up for a new account and once you have your account now you can create your workflows and now everything is hosted on your own virtual private server so make sure you check that out again take advantage of this uh, Black Friday sale um, and I'm gonna put the link in the description as well so you can go ahead and just click on the link and then you can go ahead and sign up for everything all right so make sure you check out the community as well if you want to learn more about AI automations how to make money AI with everything else uh, I'm gonna plan to do some more videos on this particular uh, Google Studio, Google AI Studio, especially the Vibe Coding tool, uh, especially if you want to create more complex apps, I'm planning to do that. So make sure you like and subscribe and uh, wait for the next videos that are coming up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.